Okay, so this bag is done. Sometimes you'll see that there's a lot of the medicine left inside the tube, the line from the bag all the way down to the port. But um, my friend, who is a nurse, thank you, Kelly, uh, said not to worry about that at all, that it's really not of any concern. So just don't worry about that. It feels like wasted meds to me because it's so expensive. But um, we're getting ready to put on bag number two, and Ruben's getting that ready now. So what we're doing now is, once again, it'll be cleaning the port. So we'll disconnect this bag from here. We'll clean the tip of the port where we're going to attach the next IV. So cleaning is really important, but we have to flush before we can hook up the other bag. So here's Ruben. My hubby. And he does a little trick where he leaves just a little bit in the um, syringe. You'll see it here, just the tiniest bit, because the nurse told us that that last little bit is actually just air. So again, this is just a sodium chloride, and um, this is what you use to flush. Um, you never, when you do IV therapy, you don't want to mix the meds, so that's why you do the flush in between to push it all out of the line so you're not mixing meds because then it kind of completely changes. Once it's in the bloodstream, that's fine. But if you were to mix them together through the lines, it like completely changes the properties of them. So not that I am um, ever did well in chemistry or anything like that, but that's just common sense. Okay, so here comes bag number two. This is the uh, azo azithromycin. Um, he's going to set this at what, babe? Um, a little over 250. A little over 250. So he'll get that little dial on there uh, set. <coughs> and then that will start to run. What he's doing now is bleeding the line. So he unclamps it and he waits for it to begin to drip. The lid is still on that so it's sterile, don't worry about that. We don't take the lid off of anything until we're ready to use it, but it'll still drip even with the lid on. So it just bleeds the water out the line. Now what he's doing is on that particular antibiotic, he has to mix it in that little glass container as powder so he has to release some of the saline in there and then mix it up. He's already done that. So now he's gonna take this off. And remember, he doesn't have to clean it because nothing has touched anything. It's all sterile still. Okay, so he's got that on. And then he's going to come back over here and unclamp it for ready to roll. Thank you, my love. 